हेलो हेलो टीचर हाय गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू टुडे फाइन फाइन दैट्स ग्रेट व्हाट अबाउट द रेस्ट ऑफ यू हाउ आर यू डूइंग व्हाट व्हाट हाउ आर यू डूइंग कमो लेस स्टा यंदो अल रेस्टो Okay, thank you. See, you're okay. That's nice. And the rest of you? Well, um, thank you for being punctual in your class. So today we're going to continue with yesterday's topic. Yesterday, uh, we were talking about how to make plurals in English. And I told you that there are some rules to follow when we are making plural. It's very basic and very important to know those rules. That's why I have a presentation for you. I'm going to share my screen so you can watch the presentation and see how it works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's it. Uh, to make plural nouns, we said that sometimes we just add s to the noun and it's plural, but it's not always as easy. So there are some ways, six ways to change a noun from singular to plural. So they are basically six things that we you, you would need to know. Uh, let's go with the first one. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Cuando nos referimos a un noun, a un nombre, un nombre es una persona, un lugar, o una cosa. Okay? Puede ser una persona, lugar, o cosa. Eso es un noun, un nombre. Singular significa solamente uno. ¿Verdad? Cuando decimos singular, estamos diciendo uno. Y plural significa más de uno. Ah, los, uh, la mayoría de nouns se convierten en plural agregándole S. Por ejemplo, boy, boys, book, books, desk, desks, school, Schools. That's easy. Pero si el nombre termina en CH, SH o en X, le vamos a agregar ES para hacerlo plural. Por ejemplo, bush, bushes. Okay. Un arbusto, bush. Arbustos, bushes. Como Box termina en X, la palabra caja, box termina en X. Para decir cajas en plural vamos a agregar ES. Boxes. Right? Church, iglesia, termina en CH. Para decir iglesias en plural es churches. Ok, le agregamos ES para hacer la plural. Ok, so, estos son ejemplos, ¿verdad? Cuando terminen en CH, SH o X, para hacerlo plural le vamos a agregar ES. Um, si terminan en F, si ese noun termina en una F o termina en FE, eh, con frecuencia el, el cambio que hacemos es VES. Lo que les explicaba ayer, wife, termina en FE, la palabra wife. Para hacerlo plural, wives. Esposa, en singular es wife. Esposas es wives, en plural. Ok, wolf. Wolf es un lobo. Termina en F. Para hacerlo plural, vamos a agregar B-E-S, waltz. 
algunos nombres cambian el spelling, right? Como lo que les explicaba ayer, no siguen esta regla. Ellos cambian totalmente. Eh, por ejemplo, man cambia a man. Goose uh, cambia a geese. Um, mouse cambia a mice para hacerlo plural. Esos son algunos de los que vimos ayer. ¿Se recuerdan que les mandé un, un, un dibujito? Ok, si el noun termina en una consonante y luego de la consonante hay una Y, vamos a eliminar la Y. La Y se elimina y luego agregamos IES. Por ejemplo, la palabra sky, que es cielo, sky, termina en Y y antes de la Y tenemos una consonante. Entonces, en ese caso, para hacerlo plural, skies, eliminamos la Y y cambiamos y latina ES. Papi, um, termina igual, ¿verdad? Papis, cachorros, donkey, donkeys. Esta es una excepción. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí antes de la Y tenemos una vocal. Entonces solo agregamos S. Key, keys. ¿Verdad? Si el nombre, recuerden, termina en Y y antes de la Y hay una consonante, vamos a hacer este cambio. Pero si antes de la Y hay una vocal, entonces simplemente se le agrega S. Y... La número 6 es que hay algunos que no cambian cuando los hacemos plural. Por ejemplo, los que les dije ayer, bueno, with, as with, is the same, there, there, venado, fish, fish, no cambia, y corn, corn. Ok. Haciendo un resumen. Lo primero que dijimos es que la mayoría se convierten en plural con solo agregarle S al final a la palabra. Por ejemplo, la palabra cup, cups. La número dos, decíamos que si el nombre termina en CH, SH o X, le vamos a agregar ES. Por ejemplo, la palabra dish es plato. Va a cambiar con es a plural, dishes. Nouns that end in f, si terminan en f o f, lo vamos a cambiar a ves. Por ejemplo, knife, que es cuchillo, knives para hacerlo plural. Luego dijimos que hay algunos que cambian el spelling, que son los que eh, irregulares, ¿verdad? Que no tienen una regla. Y la, si terminan en una consonante más Y, vamos a eliminar la Y y agregar Y latina más ES. Fly, por ejemplo, flies. Monkey. Termina en vocal más Y, entonces solo es S. Y los que no cambian, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, cotton es cotton y no cambia. Fish, sheep y vimos otros ejemplos. Eso lo que hay que hacer es memorizar los que no cambian y aplicar estas reglas. Ok. Teacher. ¿Sí? En el caso de fish, no entra en eh, la regla número dos. Mm, no, no. Ese es un irregular. Es una excepción, oh. digamos. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No more questions. 
No. Okay, remember, mouse change to. ¿A qué cambia mouse? Nice. Nice. Light. Cambiamos, ¿verdad? Cambiamos la Y por Y latina y agregamos ES. Slice. Pen. Pencil. S. Um, solo con la S. Solo con S. Ajá. Pens. Uh -huh. Flash. Flashes con S. S. Ajá. Flashes S. con ES. Rice. Ese. Ese. Ajá, rice no cambia, es igual. Rice, rice. Live. Live. Lives. Ajá, lives. And that's it. To continue practicing, I have another presentation. It's like a game. More practice. It's more practice for you. Okay, there we have the plural nouns, the rules that we have already studied. So, let's start. What is the plural of boy? Is, let's yeah. say, one, two, or three? Three. This one? One boy. One boy. One. One. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué la uno? One. Entonces se le agrega ya una vocal. Entonces solo se le agrega la S, no cambia al IES. Ajá, exactly, that's okay. Cuando antes de la Y hay una vocal, vocal entonces solo se agrega la S, ¿verdad? Excellent. Now, what is the plural of kiss? One, two, or three? Three. 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 Okay, excellent. Kisses. Very nice. Now, what's the plural of baby? One, two, or three? Two. One. Two. One or two? One or two? One. Two. 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 ¿Cuál es? Es que oigo one y oigo two. 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 Veamos. Two. One, two. Two. Yes. Ok. Como antes de la Y hay una consonante, entonces cambiamos esta Y por Y latina y agregamos ES. That's correct. Now, shelf. A shelf es una repisa. Shelf. ¿Cómo cambia shelf. eso? Shelf. Dos, tú. The second. The oh. second. Okay, that's right. Correct. Mm -hmm. What is the plural of potato? Three. Three. That's Three. okay. Potatoes. Nice. What is the plural of watch? Watches. One. Watches. Three. Number one. Number one. Watches. Okay. What is the plural of book? Books. Uh, one. Books. Number one. One. Books. Okay, good job. Books. Okay, I will send you this presentation. Okay, you did it excellent. I know you're excellent student. I see. Okay, what another thing that we were practicing yesterday was sí. questions. Hoy en diferencia tele. Sí. Vamos a ver. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, um, yesterday we were practicing using 
where um, what's this and what's this, right? Eso fue lo que estuvimos practicando ayer, ¿verdad? What's this? And what are these? For example, in this case, um, let's see. What would be the question here? What's this? This what's beer, this? A bear. Uh -huh. What's this? What's this? This a bear. A bear. It's uh -huh. It's a bear. 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 Um. Yeah, here. Hi. Uh, oh, are my what are these? Uh -huh. What are these? What are these? Is this a mark? It or they are? They are. They are. They are. Uh -huh. they are markers, they are markers because it's plural. They are markers. Excellent. Now, the question here. What's this? What's this? Uh -huh. What's this? This is a camera. It's a camera. It's a camera. It's a camera. Excellent job. It's a camera. Okay, I have some colored pencils here. Now the question here. What are what, what, what are these? Are these? Uh -huh, excellent. What are these? What are these? Are they, they are they are colored. They are color pencils. Color pencils. They are color pencils. Excellent. Okay, that's what we were practicing yesterday. So today we're practicing questions using where and also yes no question would be in case that you haven't checked the platform i'm going to share the content with you uh, here it is this is today's topic uh we're going to share it. Hi everyone. In this class, we'll learn how to perform yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no! Where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. On. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, no problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm. No, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Or to be plus this or in this case could be these plus some kind of complement. So verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that this subject is uh, this or these. So let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this your wallet. We have the verb to be, in this case happens to be is, and then we're gonna use this. The complement in this case is your wallet. And then of course we put a question there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen are these your keys. Uh, we have a verb to be, these, your keys. And of course we put a question mark at the end. Let me give a couple of more examples. Is this your cell phone? 
question mark at the end. Are these your things? In order to answer this type of questions, you're typically going to answer with yes, it is. No, it's not. If it's plural, for example, yes, they are. No, they're not. Now that we understand yes or no questions with B, let's explore WH questions with B. We're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH word. So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, when, where, how, why are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right, we can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course, we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why are you hungry? Where is the police station? To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. Okay, so uh, in that video, there is explain how to form yes, no question would be, and also the WH questions, que son las information questions que ya habíamos hablado antes. Okay, so uh, I send you the conversation to your WhatsApp group. It's the conversation that we study in the platform. As you can see the picture, they are leaving the restaurant and here is the waiter. He has the wallet and he has found the keys as well. So um, let's listen the conversation. Let's practice pronunciation and then you're going to practice in groups. Page 11, exercise 7, conversation. Oh no! Listen and practice. Oh no! Where are my car keys? I don't know. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. Maybe they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. You're welcome. And is this your wallet? Hmm, no, it's not. Where's your wallet, Joe? It's in my pocket. Wait a minute, that is my wallet. Okay, so do you have any question about vocabulary? Purse. Okay, purse es el bolso o la cartera de, de dama. Esto, la cartera o el bolso, purse. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Teacher, eh, en la segunda frase donde dice yo, eh, dice I don't know, pero ¿por qué allí dice I don't? Yo así lo escuché, I don't know, pero no sé si es I don't o I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But it's, um, in English, 
and they are linking words. Eso se llama link words. Cuando se unen o se enlazan las palabras. Eso es, en speaking, es bien común unir las palabras. Al unir esto, don't, no, I don't know. Así suena unido, I don't know. Uh -huh. Esa es la pronunciación al, al hacer un, al, al unir las dos palabras, I don't know. Por eso es que los americanos hablan súper rápido, porque usan contracciones y también unen palabras. Pero es correcto decir, I don't know. Es correcto. I don't know. I don't know. Es correcto. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Ok, any other questions? Ok, pocket. Uh, pocket significa bolsillo. bolsillo. Uh -huh. Pocket. Es pocket. Los bolsillos que usted carga en su chaqueta, en el pantalón, en los jeans, es pocket. Any other question? No more questions? Okay. No. So I'm going to play it one more time. I'm going to pause the recording so you can repeat. Page 11, exercise seven, conversation. Oh no, listen and practice. Oh no, where are my car keys? Now let's repeat, oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Where are my car keys? Where are my car keys? Where are my car keys? Car keys. Where are my car keys? Where are my car keys? Where are my car keys? Oh no. Where are my car keys? 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 Keys. Excellent. Where are my car keys? Where are my car keys? Excellent. No, Ahora que ya lo repetimos, repítanlo sin ver. Where are my car keys? Where are my car keys? Excellent. Let's continue. I don't know. Are they in your purse? I don't, I, don't, know. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Are they in your purse? 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 No, they're not. No, they are not. No, they are not. No. Maybe they're on the table in the restaurant. Maybe they are on the table in the restaurant. They are on the table in the restaurant. They are on the table in the restaurant. Maybe. Maybe. They are on the table. On the table. In the restaurant. the restaurant. Okay, ahora todo junto. Maybe they are on the table in the restaurant. Maybe they are on the table in the restaurant. Good, good. Maybe they are on the table in the restaurant. Maybe they are on the table in the restaurant. Good, good. Let's continue. Excuse me, are these your keys? Excuse me. Excuse me. Are these your keys? Are there your keys? Recuerden aquí es these. Are these? Are these your keys? Your keys. Your keys. Suena como I, no suena E. Keys. Are these your keys? Keys. Are these your keys? Are these your keys? Excellent. Let's continue. Yes, they are. Thank you. Yes. 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 They are. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Now, yes, one more sir. time. Intonation. They, yes, they are. Thank you. 
Jays. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. And is this your wallet? You're welcome. You're welcome. And is this your wallet? Your wallet? Your wallet is your Hmm. No, it's not. Where's your wallet, Joe? No, it's yeah. not. Where's yeah. your wallet? No, no it's not. Where's your wallet? It's not. Where's your wallet? Where's your wallet? It's, not. Not. it's, it's, not. Your wallet. Where's your wallet? it's in my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Okay. It's in my it's pocket. This is in my pocket. It's in my pocket. Wait a minute. It's in my pocket. Wait a minute. This is my wallet. Uh -huh. my wallet. Remember, intonation is important. You said it's in my pocket. It, Luego it hacemos is una in pequeña my pausa pocket. y se da cuenta que no está y dice espera un minuto. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Uh -huh. So you say it's in my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. It's very good. So it's I'm going wallet. to create the groups so you can practice the conversation with the classmates. I'm going to create the section group and you will practice with your classmates. Okay, there you have. So remember to click join or unirse so you can get in group. Hello. Todos tenemos la conversación. Sí. No, yo no la, no la, no la. Al WhatsApp la mandaron. Ah, va. Okay. Segundo. Ouch. Ok, el segundo. Mm, ok. Ok. Empezamos. Ok, okay. sí. Ya. Perfecto, sí. Empiezo yo, ok. Ok. Oh no, where are my keys? Pero quién va a ser quién? Okay. Ahorita ella es Kate. Voy a ser yo porque somos son tres personas ¿Son tres? y ya vemos cinco. Uh -huh. No, cuatro, yo no juego. <risa> ok. Ah, cuatro. Vale. <risa> Entonces, si son tres, si quieren, eh, espero yo y ustedes lo hacen. Claudia, Excellent. esperaría yo y ustedes lo hacen. Y luego Perfecto. voy yo. Mm -hmm. Ok, inicia Kate, voy a hacer yo, yo. Oh, no, where are my kids? Jonathan va a ser yo, la otra persona. Yo, yo voy a ser yo. Ah, vale, tú, yo. Empezamos. ¿Quién va a ser Kate? Yo voy, yo voy a ser Kate. Ah, ok. ¿Y server? Yo, voy a ser yo. Mm. Ok. Bye. Oh no, where are you, Marquis? I don't know. Hello? Are they in your purse? No, they are not. Maybe they are on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are, thank you. You're welcome. And is the your wallet? Wallet. Um, no, it's not. Where you wallet go? It's in my purse.
quién quiere ser. Ok, voy a iniciar. Oh, no, where are, where are my marker, please? I don't know. Are they in your purse? No, they are not. Maybe they're on the tablet in the restaurant. Is your keys? Your keys? Yes, there are. Thank you. You're come. And is this your wallet? Mm, no, it is not. Where your wallet, Joe? It's in my pocket. Wait a minute. What is my wallet? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hello, I tried to reassign you to other group, but I think it was not possible. I'm going to... Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. ¿Qué le pasó? ¿No le apareció el, el, la invitación para que se uniera a algún grupo? No, acabo de, de ingresar. Tuve problemas. Ah. Tuve una reunión en la noche. Ah, ok, ok. So, welcome to the class. Estábamos practicando en Thank grupos. <laughs> sí. Gracias. Ok. En la conversación que mandé al WhatsApp estaba... Okay, so we're waiting for the rest to join the sections. Okay, I see you did a very good job with pronunciation. Just remember that uh, you can keep on practicing you can go to the platform and you can repeat the conversations as many times as you need. So you did a very, very good job. We will continue with the content that we were studying in the platform, okay? So we have practiced the conversation. And well, in the grammar focus, uh, they um, explain you how to form the yes, no, and where questions would be, okay? De eso se trataba la gramática en esta parte, eh, que es el ejercicio 2.6 de la plataforma. Estábamos viendo cómo se formula la yes, no y where questions would be. Vamos a estar practicando con la palabra where, que significa a dónde, ¿verdad? So, um, anteriormente les explicaba y también se ve en la plataforma que hay dos tipos de preguntas. Las yes no questions que son las que se pueden responder con sí o con no. Esas se les explicaba que primero va a ir el verbo to be, is o are. Luego vamos a escribir this si es singular, this si es plural y luego en un complemento. Eh, si queremos preguntar, ¿es esta tu billetera? ¿Is this your wallet? Y ahí la respuesta puede decir, yes, it is, o no, it's not. Uh, el it siempre refiriéndose a la billetera. Como es una cosa, decimos it. Are these, uh, para ser plural, are these your keys? Y vamos a contestar, yes, they are, o no, they are not. Ahora, si queremos preguntar, ¿a dónde está? Algo en singular, vamos a preguntar, where is? Where is your wallet? ¿A dónde está tu billetera? Where is your wallet? It's in my pocket. It is in my pocket. O, where are? Si es plural, vamos a preguntar utilizando where are. Y luego el complemento, where are my keys? They are on the table. Mm, questions? ¿Hay preguntas hasta acá? ¿O no hay preguntas? Mi cuestión. No. La primera parte donde, donde nos explicaba, porque 
yo no, no, bueno, no estaba haciendo lo de la plataforma, entonces estoy un poquito perdida. Pero eh, la parte aquí dice que porque es singular, es it is. Si me puede formular lo, lo anterior, lo que explicaba anteriormente. Ok, ah, perfecto. Sí, cuando sea algo en singular, hay dos tipos de preguntas, decíamos, yes, no, y las primeras va a ser, is this, para hacer pregunta por algo singular, um, si yo le quiero preguntar, is this, es este tu marcador, is this your marker, Ok, y ahí está la pregunta. Si usted me va a responder afirmativo, me va a decir yes, luego coma. It, refiriéndose al marcador, ¿verdad? Como es una cosa, yes it is. Si la respuesta fuese negativa, será no, coma, it's. Siempre refiriéndose al marcador, it is not. No, it is not. Ok, aquí usamos is, ¿verdad? Porque estábamos preguntando por un objeto singular. Cuando preguntamos por un singular usamos is, this. Ahora, si vamos a preguntar por algo plural, si yo le quiero preguntar, ¿son estos tus lápices de color, entonces eh, son plural, son varios, entonces voy a utilizar are y voy a utilizar this, are this, are this your color, color pencils? Si la respuesta es afirmativa me va a decir sí, ellos son, yes, They are. Si fuera negativa la respuesta, me van a decir no, coma, they are not. O oh, they aren't, si se puede contractar. No, they are not. Uh, en este ejercicio, eh, la otra pregunta que vamos a practicar es ¿a dónde está o a dónde están? Ok, si yo le quiero preguntar ¿a dónde está? Eh, tu cartera where is porque voy a preguntar singular is where is your wallet oh, dónde está tu billetera entonces te me va a preguntar me va a contestar it is el, ello está es, it is sobre la mesa por ejemplo on the table Where is your wallet? It's on the table. Ahora, si yo le quiero preguntar por un objeto en plural, entonces voy a utilizar where are. Ok, ya no voy a utilizar is, sino que voy a utilizar are cuando sea plural. Where are your uh, shoes? Por ejemplo, ¿dónde están tus zapatos? Where are your shoes? Y voy a contestar utilizando they are. Ellos están, they are uh, debajo de la cama, por ejemplo, under the bed. Uh -huh. Vean la diferencia aquí. Where is? ¿A dónde está tu billetera? Contestamos it is. Where are? Contestamos they are. Ok, thank you. Ok. Para ejercitar esto, vamos a hacer estos ejercicios que se muestran acá. Lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno, solo ir escribiendo las respuestas. Complete these conversations. Vamos a completar las conversaciones. Y luego se van a practicar. La pueden escribir solo la respuesta en su cuaderno. Por ejemplo, leo, leo la número uno. This your umbrella y me contesta no. Entonces, si me contesta no, ha sido un the yes no question. Is this your umbrella? No. 
No. No. Acuérdense que siempre it's, it's not. not. Ajá. Hay que ponerle el it is. Porque el it se refiere a la sombrilla. No, it is. It is. Not. No, it's not. not. El not ya está. Entonces solo nos falta eso. It's. No, it's not. Ahora, la siguiente. These your keys. Yes. Y are. Tengo como respuesta. Are these. Are these. Yes, there are. Yes, yes, they, they are. are. They are. Uh -huh. Entonces la número uno ya quedó resuelta. Así solo van a ir poniendo la respuesta para que no se, no nos tome mucho tiempo. La uno. Luego siguen con la dos. Es esta acá. Tres y cuatro. Finished? Have you finished? Yes. Okay, let's check the number two. In number two, the question, we start with the question is, where my glasses? Where are? Where are? Excellent. Uh -huh. Where are? Excellent. Where are my glasses? Y luego hay otra pregunta. Are? These. Excellent. Are these your glasses? No, they are? Not. Not. Excellent. No, they are not. Wait. Wait. They in your pocket? 
Are they in are your pocket? Are they in your pocket? Are they in your pocket? Uh -huh. Yes. They are. They are. They are. They are. Yes, they are. Thanks. Yes, Excellent. Are. Thanks. Now let's practice. Let's repeat. Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Where are my glasses? Are these your glasses? Are these your are these glasses? Your glasses? No, they are not. No, they are not. Wait. Wait. Are they in your pocket? Are they, are they, in, are they in your, your pocket? pocket? Yes, they are. Thanks. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Thanks. Okay, conversation number three. Let's, I'm going to move this. Okay, conversation number three. Where are your sunglasses? Where are your sunglasses? They are. They are. They are on the table. They are on the table. Good. No, it's not. No, they are not. They, uh -huh, not. No, they are no, not. No, they are not. They are my sunglasses. They are my sunglasses. They are my sunglasses. Oh, you're right. My sunglasses are, are, in, are my in my purse. Are in my purse. Very yeah. good. Let's continue practicing. Let's repeat. Where are your glasses? Where are your glasses? Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Where are your sunglasses? Where are your sunglasses? They are on the table. They are on the table. table. No, they are not. They are my sunglasses. No, no, they are not. They are my sunglasses. You're right. My sunglasses are in my purse. You're right. My glasses are in my purse. Are in my purse. Okay, let's say number four. Is this my is pen? pen? Is this, is this my pen? 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 Is my pen? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Sorry. Sorry. This is my pen. Is my pen. Where is my pen? Where is my pen? Ajá, porque le responde dándole la información. Por eso ahí es where, porque la respuesta es on your desk. Le responde it's on your desk. Está en tu escritorio. And then it says you write. Okay, let's repeat. Number four. Is this my pen? Is this my pen? No, it's not. It's my pen. No, it's not. It's my pen. Sorry, where is my pen? Where is my pen? It's on your desk. It's on your desk. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay, that's it. You did a very nice job. That, that's oh. excellent. So, um, we're going to stop here. I need to get into the other section tomorrow. We will continue practicing. Vamos a practicar un poco más esto. Where is, where are. Y vamos a juntarlo con lo de las preposiciones. So, mañana vamos a hacer repaso de where is, where are, más preposiciones y vamos a empezar la sección 3. So, get ready. Thank you for joining today's class. You are very nice students. You are very responsible. I hope that you sleep well. And if you're going to have dinner, enjoy your dinner and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.